All right, YouTube. Today we're gonna change the oil in these 2012 that charger RT 5.7 liter. So the amount of oil you're gonna need obviously is seven quart of oil. So this is the type of oil I'm using. So my car has about 75,000 miles on it. So I'm using this for high mileage vehicle. Seven quarts and this filter right here the part here this type of oil this one right here so the tool you're gonna need today is a 13 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket and we're also gonna use some filter removal tool to remove the filter as well. Coming down underneath the car. So you're gonna need to remove the splash pan right here, which is the 10 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. So we can access the oil pan. Make sure you do this when the car is cool, not when it's warm so you don't get burned. Pretty easy to do. For the amount of money I spent between the seven quarter of oil and the filter was about $61. And you know, I also get 10% off, so it was a total of $51. I'll go ahead for the next bolt on the other side. We have a total of four bolts to remove this part right here. Two more bolts over here. Because your oil filter is white on top above this plate right here so you got you have to move this all the way to access it all right we can keep on moving Get this plate up and then pull it out. And then if you look right up here, that's where your oil filter is. And the 13 millimeter bolt is right here to drain the oil. We're gonna grab a wrench and drop the oil. First, we're gonna slide the oil pan in here. Make sure it's sealed so you don't get oil all over the place.
I try to use a bigger wrench so we can get a little more leverage to get it off. There. I think it's probably loose up here. Let me try again. I'm going to try with this one here. See what's up. See if we actually get it loose. Oh no. Now with this wrench we should be able to loosen it, you see? Easier. See, it seems like I have some fuel mixture and the oil, so that's the main reason why I'm changing the oil. So, we're gonna put some new one in it. I'll put in the bolt back so we change the oil. Nice and snug. Not not over tight. Good uh, to go. Should wipe this uh, extra oil so we don't be getting oil smell here. Okay, this is in there now. We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the bowl in.
we'll get the old filter off right here and we're gonna be ready to install the new one now we get our new filter right here and we're gonna put it on Now for filter removal tool, we're just gonna tighten it up in place. Fit in there really good. Straight in. to put the oil on in. The cut off. Drop the funnel. Should be wide it so it's not don't have any dirt in the engine. Alright. Start pouring your oil. So this is one gallon here, and then I have two more quarts to add in there. So this engine it takes seven quarts of oil. Alright, and that's it for our oil, oil change. Get a gallon here. And that should complete the oil portion. And then the one once we're done, we're just gonna check the oil level, make sure it's at the right level. There it is. Don't forget to put the cap on. There it is. Now we're gonna check the oil level to make sure it's at the right level. So your oil dipstick. Gonna wipe it. So, I'm gonna make sure the oil is at the right level right there. Right there. Alright. Safe. So. You may not be able to see it, but right there it says safe. So this is where the oil is. 
so we're good we have enough oil in the engine all right hope you have fun on your next oil change so after you change the oil you're just gonna come in the car and turn your ignition on to run but not start and then you, you will push the pedal gas pedal three times one two three and then we're gonna start turn it off and then we're gonna start the vehicle and from there your oil life should change all right as you can see there's no messages say zero messages and this is how you reset your oil life in the 2012 dot charger all right see you next time